flesh. Oh, that's a one shot. Oh, it's a shadow. Damn. Are you guys ready for a really big tap here? This is gonna do a lot of damage. Goodbye, Charizard. Maybe? Yes! It worked out. Hello, hello. It is the start of a brand new season, and I do love this chaotic part. Very first week, where you can meet basically everything when you start queuing up. And I did indeed end up running with the team that I had prepared in the last season. Although we have been nerfed twice on this team, we lost the damage on Spark from Lantern, and we lost a little bit of his chance to debuff with Skult on Polyrath. So I've changed the Skult out to Dynamic Punch, not only because it got nerfed, but also because I figured out this team is actually really weak to Lantern. So having Dynamic Punch means that I can at least fight a little bit back to a Lantern. It also gives a little bit of different matchups against some of the like Steel type or Rock type Pokemon, which Dynamic Punch can hit for super effective damage. But if you do end up running into a lot of Lanterns, this is not the team to go for. <laughs> then my old team from the last video is way better against Lantern because it has two basically hard counters against Lantern, being a Wishcast as in Superior. So definitely run with that instead if you're seeing a lot of Lanterns. But this is the start of the season. Hopefully not too, too many meta Pokemon. Pokemon. So let's see how it goes. Clout Sire lead. I mean, that's a ground type, so that's not a super good lead. Um, but neither is actually Polybath into this, although I can do super effective with my icy ones. So if I shield the very first move here, I will start debuffing him, and he might either switch out or he might stay in and start getting debuffed. We'll see what he does. These Sluts Bombs, Sluts Waves, they will do a decent amount of damage, although not super effective. Icy Wind, super effective. Oh, that's really tanky, that Cloud Sire. Oof. Uh, but I will hopefully get one more off. Ah, just barely not, because I switched in on it, of course. If it was an even match with energy, I should have made it to the Icy Wind just before he made it to another one. Although he decided Stone Edge this time, which is very um, questionable. <laughs> you should definitely went for Sluts Wave. Uh, but this happens in the start of the season. We get some opponents that are less experienced. And now he shields because he realized it's going to do a decent amount of damage. I should outspeed him here unless he decides to do another Stone Edge. Is he doing another Stone Edge? Why are you doing another Stone Edge? And I think even if it's a Sludge Wave at this point, a Sludge Bomb, yeah, I can survive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so we kind of stabilize the field a little bit. Also, the switch timer is, is basically back, so now it doesn't really matter uh, whether or not I switch. Although he knows I have a lantern, so I need to be a little bit careful about what I do here towards the ending. If I if you switch in a Pokemon that is like okay against lantern, um, then I almost need to go in with lantern to like not show my hand. But we can see what he does. He comes in with a Bastidon. Oh, this really big bummer that I do not make it to my um, to my Dynamic Punch. That would have been amazing right here. But I get to at least debuff his, um, his attack. And I get to come in with Lantern on Bastidon, which is pretty good. Because I can do my, uh, my Surf here, which is super effective. Oh, I would have really have loved to do a Dynamic Punch <laughs> on, on that Bastidon. That would have been a wild highlight. <laughs> but I'm, I'm fairly certain I would have just missed out, and that would also have sucked quite a bit. But he can do Stone Edge, and he can do Flamethrower. Stone Edge is neutral, but it's not doing a lot of damage. Um, and Flamethrower would be resisted, so I have a really good matchup here. So he, I'm kind of expecting him to like switch, maybe try to catch an attack. Um, but I can also just throw this move in his Smackdown, which has a longer animation. To not allow him to switch into my moves. <laughs> but it's a very tanky Pokemon. Although I'm really happy to not see <laughs> Noctowl <laughs> on this Bastion. Because uh, that would just absolutely wall it and take me out. I'm still trying to save my shield to see what's going on here. Why is he playing around with the weaknesses like that? <laughs> I think I can farm up to two serves here. Yep, so I have like, an extra attack on the next Pokemon. He should have just done Stone Edge again. But, oh well. Maybe he, he's seen the writing on the wall. Maybe he is a little bit like, screwed already. Oh, he is. He has a fire type. <laughs> and uh, I have water type attacks. And I even got one ready. So this is going to do a lot of damage on that, the Manitan. Splash. Oh, that's a one shot. Oh, it's a shadow. Damn. Here is a grass Pokemon, which we're not really doing too hot against. Although he is not playing with a grass attack. And Shiftry is pretty squishy. So I will 
actually throw an a move here and then I will try if I can to catch a leaf blade. So we'll see if it works out. Probably does not. Uh, but I'll switch right, in, right away here. Ah, unfortunate. But what happens here is that this is not the worst matchup if I do end up having Polyrath on it um, towards the end because I can do counters. Uh, so I'm very interested to see what he does here. He throws the leaf blade. Okay, I mean that's a big mistake, but that will happen in the start of this season. He should throw like Night Slash uh, or whatever else he's having on his shiftry. Uh, maybe he is. Maybe he is only single moved. Am I gonna farm him down now? Is this a big risk? If this is not a leaf blade, I'm okay. <laughs> Am I taking a big risk? This is a really big risk. Oh, okay. It, it's, it seems he's only single moved. So I can farm him down, but can I even get to two moves? Whoa, maybe not. I need to switch. Can I even switch? I have two moves, but I believe that bubble went through and maybe got me. Can I even switch? No, I can't. <laughs> but it's still okay. I got the attack off of the Polyrath. Fair enough. And now I can perhaps even farm down the Polyrath with Sparks, because I saw bubbles, right? So it's not really doing that much energy. Maybe he gets to like Icy Wind me once, which it's not gonna do very much damage. It'll, it'll nerf me, but I can also just switch out. He's running with Ice Punch. Maybe he's running with like a really old OG move on his Polyrath, like Bubble Ice Punch might be the case. Oh, he has a Leaf Blade stored. I mean, I'm gonna shield that. I've only seen Leaf Blades, so for sure we're gonna shield that. Okay, so we got one of our weaknesses in the lead, the grass. Uh, but it was a very squishy one, and he he stayed in for way too long against my uh, my Noctowl. And then he has a Charizard. This is where I would have liked to have Scald on my Polyrath, but I don't think we even get that far. Like, my Lantern's doing so hot here, and uh, we're gonna be preparing ourselves for a big tap on this Charizard. Are you guys ready for a really big tap here? This is gonna do a lot of damage. Goodbye, Charizard. <laughs> Let's go. Right before we do the next one, a quick shout out to Dreamhack Summer happening in Schönköping, Sweden next weekend, June 14th till 16th, where I have finally made some graphics for my schedules so you guys know where to find me if you are participating. So Saturday, there will be some game shows, some water fights, and some meet and greet that you are very welcome to come say hi to. On Sunday, there will be yoga ball football happening from 11 to 12. It'll be an absolutely amazing opportunity to burn off some steam, maybe be part of the video for this absolutely chaotic hour. There'll be another game show. And then also, even if you're not participating at DreamHack, I will be doing a stream studio time. That'll be a sponsored Xbox Game Pass stream where you guys can come by and even maybe be lucky to win a code for a month, two or three of Xbox Game Pass, depending on which kind of codes we get to, to give out. That'll be happening on my Twitch page, Twitch TV slash GoJesper, and it will mean the absolute world to me if you guys came by, because I am not live very often, but this might be a really big opportunity to change some of that, dependent on how it goes. These two scheduled pictures will also be uh, published on my Instagram page, GoJesper123, very shortly. So if you missed anything or if you need to find it, or if anything changes, that will be the place to get updated, because that is my easily available platform to update now that I'll be away from my computer next weekend. Let's get back to the video. Dragonair. See, this is another Pokemon that I'm not doing too hot against because I will be using resisted moves against him. But I will farm up a little bit of energy and then I will catch on my tanky Noctowl that I will likely just lose in a safe swap battle. But we'll see how this goes. So Body Slam, I'm coming in with a Noctowl. Does he have a good switch for it? He does have a Dugong. I mean, that's actually pretty nice here. Because that means I can come back in with Lantern and use all my energy on the Dugong, potentially get it out of the way. Although my Polyrath is also really good against Dugong, I don't know what the last Pokemon is, but then I will use Polyrath as a safe spot afterwards. So what are we doing here? Okay, okay, I'll come in with Lantern because he resists the moves. Oh, you didn't farm up. Okay, man, that means I will get another move. I do not mind that. That was a mistake of yours. Um, you can still survive this sky attack. This is not threatening you, but definitely you should have done a little bit more. So I did not make it to another sky attack. Because that'll make that'll mean I'm not even gonna. Am I even gonna throw a move now? Am I gonna farm him down? It no. He has drill run now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dugan got drill run in one of the recent seasons. I will come in with polygraph. So I will show my team, which kind of sucks, um, but. That means I will have a Icy Wind stored for the next Pokemon that comes in. And then I can switch out. He can also do that. Um, but it's fine. 
we'll see what he decides to do. He's probably going to show the last Pokemon because he don't want to come in here with the um, with the Dragon Hair. Oh, this is funny. If he's expecting me to run Scald and uh, Icy Wind, he will not shield this. But this is the Dynamic Punch. Maybe, maybe. Yes, it worked out. Let's go. Having Dynamic Punch became worth it. Very nice. Okay, so we do actually get to bamboozle one opponent here, which is really nice. I don't think I need shield. He doesn't have any effective moves against me, honestly. Um, and I now get to Icy Wind his Dragonair. I'm still not out of the woods yet. This, is, this has been really nice so far. Uh, but now I have a debuff on the, poly, on, on the Dragonair, which gives me a little bit of a chance, I guess. And he's, he's like empty on energy, right? Uh, and he's fairly squishy because he's a shadow Pokemon. Uh, so maybe he does need to respect some of these moves. We'll see what he does. He shields indeed. So now I can do my most powerful move instead. Although I do not have that much HP. Is this enough to beat a Dragonair? It's a shadow Dragonair. It's not a very effective move. But it'll do a decent amount of damage anyways. It's not enough. Okay, so I do need a Surf. So I need him to not reach three attacks. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid he might, but we will see. I had a lot of energy coming into this. Um, he indeed has two right away. Does he have the third? That that will be the question. If he gets it right on top of me, he will win CMP. So this is still really, really close. But hopefully, 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 hopefully not. Yes! Oh, I can't believe we got back from that. That was amazing. So we not only got back from really bad lead, we also got to bamboozle with the dynamic punch. That is so worth it. Yes! Annihilate. Okay, it did not take very long before we found some of the new really meta Pokemon here. That's, uh, that's a scary one. Why am I phone freezing up a little bit? I do not like that. But at least Lantern is decent against it. Uh, of course, my, um, my Noctowl would do a better job. And I think I'm going to switch here, actually. Just if I'm really, really lucky, I might have caught a Shadow Ball. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping it's a Shadow Ball. <clears throat> Damn it, it's a Night Slash. But it's still okay. I really don't want to shield the first Night Slash anyways. He got buffed. Of course he did. Uh, but now I'm going to shield just anything. <laughs> I've got to shield and farm him down. Okay, this is scary. This is really scary. Although he can't really do Shadow Ball here. Because now, of course, he um, he's getting resisted. Um, can I get to this, please? Oh, maybe I should have thrown the attack. Okay, I mean, we're playing without shields at this point, but that's an interesting start to this match. He just got buffed on the very first Night Slash. Ouch. I mean, I get I get to do Switch now, which is nice. Um, but I sacrificed both my shields to do it. Although I am going to be doing a decent amount of damage here back at him, or maybe getting some shields. We'll see. Yep. Um, and I also get to use Polyrath. Actually, both the Pokemon remaining here are not doing so hot against the Gligar. Uh, but we can get his HP or shields. I believe I can just barely... Okay, never mind. I could, I could just barely get to another Sky Attack if he decides to not throw a move. Um, what am I even going to do here? I can get to Icy Wind fairly quickly. Um, I can also get to Surf fairly quickly. I think what I'll do, hopefully, is I'll farm up to a Surf throw it, and then catch an, an attack. Ah, one too early. Because Dick will do a lot of damage. So my lantern's basically out. Uh, but I think, I'll, I think I'll survive though still. I don't, okay. <laughs> I get to the surf. Guess not. Uh, so this is a big problem. He's just gonna air lace me now. Okay, that was a, that was a mistake then. I, I, should, I wanted to catch the move, but I, I was uncertain exactly how much energy he had on the, um, on the Gligar. Because I, I do lose a little bit of my focus. Now that I am talking to you guys, and he has a licky tongue, so I'm just gonna let him have it. I for sure could have maybe caught the move, and then had a chance, but it, it still looked pretty grim. Pelipper. Okay, we get a perfect lead for us now. Double weak to electric, and we indeed have Spark. So I need to switch out, and he has another electric type Pokemon. Okay! This is very spicy. Okay, but we do have Noctowl that can sort of deal with Pelipper. But we do not have any other Pokemon in the back that can deal with this Electrode. <laughs> so I think we're just staying in with Lantern. Because uh, Lantern is our best answer to Electric. So we're going to do neutral damage against each other here. And we'll be okay. Although I can, if he decides, decides to let the next one go through, I can come in with Polyrath and farm him down a little bit. 
Um, but we'll see what he end up, ends up doing here. I'm almost expecting him to shield now that it didn't switch out. So he's maybe read that this is my best answer against a electric indeed. So I will do the same. I should be able to beat him with the next surf and then I can perhaps switch in Polyrath. We'll see what he does here. Because uh, I'm seeing him playing with Thundershock and not on, uh, um, what's it called? A uh, Volt Switch. So he should not have that much energy left. So what's he doing here? He's letting that one go through. Okay. And then he comes in with the Needle Queen. Okay. And then he switches. Interesting. Oh, This is a Weather Ball. I'm not certain I will survive. I do have a very low HP. Yeah, okay, that was not worth it. Yeah, no, it was not worth it. Okay, but he, but he showed that the last one he has is a Nido Queen. Okay. Which is not appreciating the icy winds I have on my Polyrath. So I will try and be in a position where I can switch out and collision debuffs. So I will hopefully win this battle here with my, uh, my Noctowl. We'll see if he ends up protecting his uh, Needle Queen or his Pelipper. He will do a lot of damage with his Pelipper on my uh, my Noctowl because he's very quick to the moves. He decided not to. Okay, that's fine. That means we can bait him in a way where we let this first one go and then we switch immediately. And then we can start threatening him with Icy Winds. Yes, because this one's not super dangerous. Uh, but they will switch now. And then we'll come in with Icy Winds. We're not really doing effective damage here, which kind of sucks, uh, but that's how it is. We will be doing threatening damage to him with these Icy Winds. Can I survive a Earth Power is the question here. I'm not very confident with Polyrath in the Great League yet. So I actually don't know if I can survive an Earth Power here. He really He's farming up to Earth Power, of course, to try and threaten me to use a shield. But he indeed decided to bait. But he has another one, so he can just poison fang straight away. Can I please make this? Yes! Oh no, he has higher attack than me. But this this will mean that I will get my icy wind off, which he needs to shield to not lose. And then also it means that he will be having low enough HP so that my sky attack from Noctowl will take him out. Or you can just let it go through. Did I count one shield wrong? I think I did. <laughs> we still won though. We, we still had a pretty uh, comfortable match there. That became some pretty exciting and funny battles with some good highlights. Of course, with a higher likelihood of that happening here in the start of the season where everything is a little bit more wild. So that was really, really cool and very, very much appreciated. I do apologize if you guys have seen this video and we have already switched onto Ultra League. I did have to prioritize some DreamHack planning and scheduling that you saw a little bit earlier in the video. I needed to get that under control before I could really sit down, prep some graphics and make some video for you guys. But I hope you still had a good time watching this video. I will of course recommend a uh, PvP video. Maybe I should recommend an Ultra League video now that we perhaps have switched into Ultra League. If I don't see you guys there, I hope to see you guys some other time. Consider subscribing to the channel, that would be very nice. Bye-bye.